how you are doing? Welcome to this Pixelmator photo for iPhone um, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make like a dark, moody pro, real pro preset with as few adjustments as possible. So I'm going to use this image here. Now remember the um, sort of preset, we'll save the preset as well. Remember presets um, are different on different images and we'll try that out on some of, um, I took some raw photos with with this with my iPhone this morning we'll we'll, we'll try them out so, um, so before we go any further at the top of the screen what I'm going to do I'm going to select my um, crop or my straighten tool and I'm just going to straighten this image out a little bit like so and then that's okay so then I'm going to select the adjustments at the top again and swipe up to see my adjustments now, the tools that I've got available to me here, let me just show you. If I press the three dots here and show customize adjustments, so you have selected as um, as sort of default anyway. Um, so just so you can see, I do have vignettes and vignettes not um, selected as standard. So you just have to um, check it and um, and then this will, this will close itself down and um, and you'll have vignette available there. Where is it? There it is. You'll have vignette available there at the bottom as a tool for you to edit. So that's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start at the fade and the vignette area. So let's turn the vignette on first. Um, and it applies a vignette by default anyway. And I'm gonna just drag this down. Remember, it's I'm doing it specific for this image and you will be able to apply it to other images. We'll try that, but you adjust the intensity of it and I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, and then let's let's reduce the black point just on this one to, um, let's do let's do 30, 30%, minus 30%. And then the softness, I'm gonna drag that down a little bit, just drag the, um, yeah, drag the softness down to around 65, between 65 and 70%. And then let's open up the fade. So toggle the fade on. And with the blacks, I'm going, to, um, I'm going to drag this down to around 60%. And then the whites to around, let me just look at the image as I'm going, to around 36%. And I'm trying to do this on as I'm viewing the image, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to work my way up and I'm going to go to the curve. I'm going to toggle the curve on and I'm going to use the global colours, the white global um, reds, green, blues. I'm going to use the global. So I'm going to make three points. One down here, right on the. And don't worry about if the line moves. We can or the curve adjusts slightly. We can sort that out in a minute, right? So the very first one, I'm going to drag that up to flatten to flatten the um, to flatten the the highlights up or, or flatten the highlights a little bit. And then I'm going to pull a little bit more depth into the to the highlights by dragging this one up here and then sort of down just there like so and then this mid one i'm going to move up and just drag up a tiny bit and then the final one as well i'm going to drag that up as well so i've got this sort of this sort of and you do have to like be quite careful that's why i'm going quite i just want to be careful as i'm doing this as i'm going along so that's what my um my curve line on the global colors will look like. Now let's work our work to hue and saturation um, because what I want to do here, I want to drag to this orange where it says BB strong and no excuses. The red is sort of blown out a little bit. So I just want to reduce the saturation and that will just give me a nice sort of feel to this image between minus 20 and minus 25. Maybe is probably where I want to sit for this. And then finally, I'm going to open up the lightness tab and you see there's quite a few adjustments in here. I'm going to leave the exposure where it is because I'm happy. I can see I'm looking at the image. I'm, I'm happy with what it looks like. And then the shadows, I'm going to take that to 4% brightness. I'm going to drag the brightness up a little bit to 15. And then the contrast really to sharpen those edges and um, just to give it a that sort of real clarity if you like a bit more sharpness um, to 28% and then the black point I'm going to drag that down to minus 22 let me just have a look at what's going on minus 28 ish there so I know what I can do I can go back oh look what I've done I've closed that curves down that's something to be 
be aware of is as you slide up or down, I've done that before, he's going, oh, what's going on with my edit there? It's, and I've toggled the curves off so it removes the adjustments. So that's a good sort of learning sort of point, I suppose. I'm going to toggle that curves back on and it's what I was looking to do was increase the darks um, as happened with the curves. So let me just minimize that. Um, look at our before, really bright, and this one's sort of taking all that sort of bright colors away and the uh, the real brightness in the sky and made all the darks much darker, made it much crisper and give it this sort of sheen, this, this faded look, this real faded professional dark moody look if you like. So um, what we're now going to do is I'm going to, and what we can also do as well, we can press and hold the screen, it gives us a before and release, press and hold the screen before and after. And you can see on the histogram that the colors are very well balanced um, on the before, but on the after, over to the highlights and, and the darks, we've, you know, we've, we've really adjusted the darks and remove that sort of center ground, if you like. Um, so now we're just gonna save this, um, save this preset. We click this little plus button down here and it just automatically saves the presets. So now let's go and have a look. Let me just click the tick button at the top right hand side. Ask me if I want to allow this to be modified. Yes, I want to modify it. Um, now let's go and apply it to another one with a different background. So we've got the same bag. Let me go to um, my adjustments up here and it shows me the presets. Preset at the bottom. And this is very, very similar. So you could again edit this preset with adjustments or we can adjust the intensity of the preset so we can reduce the intensity of the preset if we want but you can see it's got all of that dark moody appeal that we want so i took a few different images this morning um so let's have a look at this one so i took this um it's a raw image took with iphone 13 pro max um let me look at the adjustments and then let me apply that um that preset that we just created, that dark moody preset. And you see it has, as I said, it's, this is what it was before. This is what it is after it's, it's very sort of understated, took up, took away all the sort of colors really. But what we could do is we could adjust the intensity. So let me just go back and select that again, three dots here, adjust the intensity, and then we could reduce the intensity of the preset. So we could bring some of these colors back in. But likewise, if we wanted to keep the intensity of that preset, we could also have a look at the adjustments and we could come in and, and maybe um, add a bit more, uh, take away some contrast. So that'll bring, like really bring the darks through if you like. And it really helps, um, sorry, take away some brightness and it really helps remove the lighter areas and just gives a little bit more detail and then add a bit more contrast and it'll make it real dark and moody black point again we could make it darker if we wanted to or just brighten that little bit up but what i would prob probably would want to do is increase the saturation just a touch so then we've got these colors coming through and now we've got a different feel with a few um very few adjustments to our preset edit we look at what it started like and what it's like now and i'm sure you'll agree that it gives it a much more professional look so don't only apply the presets apply some adjustments if you're going to apply it to different images as well i hope this tutorial has um, helped you out i hope you enjoy that preset and if you have any questions or would like any more tutorials on pixelmator photo for iphone just um, drop it in the comments below thanks a lot for watching take care Bye.